and you're just going to come in here and demand money that you don't, like you didn't earn? Employees are speaking up tonight after they were targeted by the subway bandits. Police are investigating a series of subway restaurant robberies across two counties. And new tonight, CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw joining us now in the studio with who exactly detectives are looking for here. Yeah, Christina, Adrian, they're actually looking for two men. Investigators suspect the duo has hit nine different subway restaurants from Modesto to Manteca and one in Lodi. Employees say while a man demands money, a second stands near the door holding a gun. What can I help you with? And he's like, I'm robbing you. Like, give me all your money. And I'm just standing here like, no. Celeste Cerna fought back in a heist she thought was just a joke. And he was, puts his hand in his pocket. He's like, I'm going to hurt your customer. That's when she emptied out the register. Here's the face of the man who tried to lunge across the counter, handing a note and demanding 20s then telling her to fill up the envelope. That's why I was like, just give it to him. It's not worth it. Three female employees were working at the time, finding out now they're not the only victims. Police say the rash of robberies began last year. Five stores were hit in Manteca, another five in Modesto, and one in Lodi. The suspects got away with cash, but the employees knew it could have been much worse. But once I got home and like when you're laying down to sleep, all the little details come back and yeah, the next day I came in, I was very anxious to be on front. Wondering how these thieves continue to get away with such a crime. You couldn't just work hard like everybody else. You came to my place where I'm trying to work hard for my money, and you're, you literally took my money. They're hoping someone recognizes the men in these photos. You should feel embarrassed. And want them to know to never come back. If they were to come back in, I would notice them right off the bat. Investigators say they, one of the men may have a tattoo of a bird on his neck. Anyone with information should call police. And pretty scary. Let's hope that they can find these yeah, guys yeah. and soon. Nine times. My goodness. All right, Jen, thanks. Well, new tonight.